What's up guys, I'm back in Astroneer, and I'm going to show you how to make this automated scrap factory. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, step by step. In order for this to work, you need a lot of Astronium, but I just have two large uh, resource canisters here. You're going to grab an extra large platform A, and then you're going to put your two silos on there. Now you'll need a medium platform A. A large platform A. I said about right there. And then another medium platform A. And then you're going to need a large platform B. You're going to put it right just like that. Now you're going to grab a packaged item that takes up two slots like this. So I just uh, packaged a large platform A right there. And then you'll need two auto arms. Set it so that the green goes towards the silo right there and the blue ends up on the platform here. I'll take another auto arm and do the same thing. Make sure the green covers this platform. Now you need a trade platform and then you'll put a medium storage right here. Now you can grab a power switch. Put that power switch just like that and you can go from the power switch to the platform. We're just going to connect all these together. You can turn one of this one on. And you're going to grab one piece of astronium for each arm as a filter. And that means that it will only grab astronium. Now you'll set your trade platform. We're going to set it to trade for solid field jump jets. You're going to need two storage sensors. You're going to place one of them on this large platform A. And then you can drag the hook off and press F to place it down. And you're just going to connect it to these two arms here. And then you're going to also connect it to this trade platform. Now you're going to take this sensor and you're going to put it on the medium storage. Just like that. If you want you can expand it, it doesn't really matter. And pull this out, create a segment, create a segment, and just attach it to the power switch right there. So now you're going to need two pl medium platform A's, and you need two more auto arms. Make it so that the green points towards the trade platform, and you're going to try to get your circle over this medium storage because this is where all the items are gonna go once this thing comes back with the uh, jump jets. You can sort of angle it out like that. Connect one of them to the power switch and one of them to each other. Now you'll need an extra large platform C. You need two of these. So place one of them like that. Place the other one right next to it. Now it's very important that you're gonna fill these slots up right here. You don't want items going right in the middle here. So fill these two spots up. You're gonna need two extra large shredders. Just like that. And you need two of these. Put them on the back there and expand them. And just put the other one right there. And then you're gonna place another packaged platform right there another one right there. You're going to want to make sure these point towards your shredders and you're going to sort of overlap them like this. Sometimes it can be kind of difficult. Basically you want to get your shredders as close as you can to each other. Just like that. That's perfect. I would move these back a little bit. Maybe like that. Perfect. Now you can connect this shredder. You can connect this shredder. And you can connect this, this whole station right here. You can connect it to your main base's power. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm just going to turn this off so that doesn't freak out. But there's your power. So when the scrap comes out of this, it's going to land in this platform right here. So you're going to need a way to bring that over to one side. So you're going to grab 
I'll click medium platform. You can just put that right there. And you're gonna need a auto arm. Put that right there. Try to overlap it a little bit like that. So that the green area covers the, the platform right here. And then you're gonna need Now you're going to need two more auto arms. You can place the first one like this so that it clips in. And it's going to, you're going to have the blue area cover this medium storage. Then you're going to have the second one so that the green area covers the medium storage. And you can connect these up to power and power these on. Now you're going to grab another extra large platform C. You're going to put it right over here. You're gonna need two silos, just like this. Now you're gonna put two more package platforms on this end right here. And you're gonna have this area open. All right, and that's done. So now I'm gonna show you it in action. All you gotta do is power this on. This little platform is going to fill up. As soon as it fills up, it's going to turn the other arm on. It's going to fill up the trade platform. And it's going to go off. The first time it goes off, it's only going to go with three. But every time after that, it's going to go with four. All right, and I see a problem right here. This one's actually reaching all the way to the storage over here. So we're just gonna move this one back a little bit until it's not able to place it right there. And we should be good. It's gonna come back. You're gonna wanna save two of these. So grab two of those, turn these guys on. And you're gonna wanna put these as the filter. Make sure the storage center sensor is set to empty or not empty. What that's gonna do is this going to prevent buildup from happening and it's going to stop this from going if um, if this is filled up. So that way if your, if your silos are full over here, it's not going to create a big mess of extra jump jets and stuff because it will keep trying to like fill it up. So see now it turned the power off for this section. So these arms aren't able to do anything right now because this is full. Once that empties though, it's going to start filling it up. And then you can see it's putting these jump jets into the shredder here and the scraps coming out onto this platform and it's just moving along right there it's gonna grab this put it onto that platform and it's gonna put it right into these silos now one thing that's helpful is to actually put a filter on these arms so that it doesn't grab anything on the ground so you can just put a scrap filter on those and you're good to go one more thing, only 0.2% of you guys are subscribed, so if you want updates on my factory in the future, then consider subscribing, it's free and you can cancel at any time.